Hello, this is Walker Physics, 4th edition. We're in Chapter 7 on Work and Kinetic Energy, and this is number 25 of the end of the chapter questions. In the previous problem, which I have below, 0.114 kilogram pine cone falls 16 meters to the ground, where it lands with a speed of 13 meters per second. Okay. A says, how much work was done on the pine cone by air resistance, and then what's the average force of that air resistance exerted on the pine cone. Well, we saw before that there are two formula for, in, uh, for uh, energies. You've got kinetic energy, and kinetic energy is equal to one half times the mass times the square of the velocity. You also have potential energy, which is equal to the mass times gravity, which is its weight, times its height. So the weight is the force times the meters of how high it is in the gravity field. So that's how much energy it has. We'll see that these two are going to be uh, equal to each other. You're only going to have the energy that you started with. So the energy of that pine cone that was sitting on the branch with its mg as the force pushing down and then the height of that branch from the ground, that's the full energy that it has. Okay, so we're going to see that work is going to equal, um, that it's conserved, that, the, that both of those equal, um, or if you subtract one, it'll be equal to zero. They're, they're equal to each other. Ke is equal to Pe. But we've got an extra force here. We've got the force of the air that's pushing up. So what's going to happen is that Ke is going to be slower than it would have been. If there was no air in the way, it would travel faster. All of the energy that's stored in potential would be exerted. But if you are shoving up when it's trying to fall down, you're slowing it down. So the air resistance is actually making the kinetic energy lower than it would because it's acting in the other direction. So we're going to see that if you want to find out what the work of the air resistance is, it's going to be a negative work. All right, so we're going to say that these two things uh, are going to be the velocity, you know, the kinetic energy minus the potential. Now, why? If I subtract the bigger number from the lesser number, I'm going to get a negative number. And you will see that the, the previous question said that it was a negative, there was a negative work done because it's traveling up and the displacement was down as the pine cone was falling. Okay, so this is how you would get a negative work. You'll subtract the, the, the lower number, the lower kinetic energy, minus the larger potential energy, and you'll end up with how much work the air resistance did in order to slow down the pine cone. Okay, so let's fill this in. We've got one half. The mass is 0.14 kilograms. The velocity is, what is it, 13 meters per second. So that's 13 squared. We'll subtract, again, the 0.14 times 9.81 times how far did it fall? It fell 16 meters to the ground. Okay. So, 0.14 times 13 times 13 divided by 2. This is 11.83 minus 0.14 times 9.81 times 16 is 21.9744. This gives you work equals a negative 10.14 joules. Two significant digits would give you 10 joules. And so it's negative because it's acting in the other direction. So that's 10 joules. Now they're asking for the force. Well, what's the average force? Well, we know that force equals, equals um, or force times distance, sorry, equals work. That's your only other formula that we've done in work is force times distance. 
we know that the work is negative 10. We know that the distance, it fell 16 meters. So negative 10 divided by 16 What is that? 0.63 joules. Hope it's making sense.